What's up guys, Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another Lumion 10 video for you. So in today's video, I wanted to explore the new high detail nature models contained inside of Lumion 10. So if you remember, these are some models that were brought in that are ultra high resolution and high detailed so that you can make plants kind of one of the more central parts of your renderings instead of background pieces. So I just wanted to go through them, take a look at what there is to offer and kind of what's different from the normal trees and plants that are already contained inside of your library. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so first things first, this is the new welcome screen inside of Lumion 10, and it's just a little bit different than what was there before. So what I wanted to do is I want to start a new project. So if you click on this button right here, there's an option for new. And the nice thing about this is in Lumion 10, they've actually changed this so that you have a couple different environment options that weren't in here before. So these are great if you want to like build your model into an environment and don't want to spend a lot of time building up your context. There's an option for the suburban environment, which is the environment that their example model goes into. But then there's also a couple different forest environments. So there's a forest and then there's also a tropical. And so these are great for bringing your model in, but also just previewing different things. And so in this case, I want to go ahead and I want to open up the forest environment. I figure that's a good place for us to take a look at the, uh, the higher detailed nature models that were brought in in this version. All right, so when we open this up, what you're going to notice is this is basically just a plane in here with the grass materials applied to it and then a bunch of trees. So it's got this big opening in here, which is a great place for you to drop a house model or something like that if you want quick tree context. Well, what I wanted to do is I wanted to use this to take a look at the new fine detail nature models. And so um, this is a new set of different models that are brought in that are ultra detailed and ultra high resolution. So let's go ahead and place one of these in here and take a look at it. And so the first thing when you open this up is you're going to get two different options. You're going to get an option for trees and an option for plants. And so the trees are going to be trees, obviously, and the plants are going to be smaller, um, more de detailed things in here like different bushes and there's hydrangeas and things like that. But let's start with the trees for right now and let's just bring in one of these trees and take a look at it. And so I'm thinking maybe I'll bring in one of these chestnut trees. And so I'm just going to click on this chestnut tree and bring it in just like this. And so when we take a look at it, there's a few things you're going to notice about this tree that are going to be different than the other trees inside of Lumion. So the first thing is when you zoom in, you're going to get ultra high detailed bark. So there's lots of ins and outs and other things on the trunks of the trees that are just a little bit more detailed than the other uh, than the other models. But really what sets these apart is the detail of the leaves that are in these trees. So if you take a look at these leaves, you can see how each one of them is detailed out. And when you zoom in on it, you can see how these actually have like a high resolution texture that actually shows like reflections and other things like that. So it's just much more detailed. And you can see how each one of these is moving individually with the wind. And so for comparison's sake, let's bring in a normal tree and take a look at that. And so let's go back to our nature section under place and let's see if there's a chestnut tree in here. I don't know if there is or not, but we'll go ahead and click on this and we're going to type in chestnut. And so there are multiple different chestnut trees in here. So let's bring in a sweet chestnut tree from the regular library and take a look at that just as kind of a comparison. So we'll just drop this in here right here. And I've always felt that Lumion's trees are really high detailed anyway. But um, one thing you're going to notice about these is when you come in and get really close to these trees, um, especially this, uh, this older sweet chestnut tree, you can see how there's just nowhere near that level of detail on the leaves that there is over here. So like for example, you can see when you zoom in on these that these are kind of like cutouts of images. And when you zoom out, it looks fine, right? Like if you zoom out to right here and you render this tree, this tree is going to look fine. But when you get close up, if you compare the leaves on the left hand side, right here, and then the leaves on the right hand side, there's just no comparison between the two. This is just much higher resolution and it's just better looking. And so what that means is if you have to render a close up with a tree, this tree is going to look better than this other tree. 
And so there's some things that you need to consider when you're using these new high detail trees though. So, and Lumion even tells you as much when you click on the find detail nature option. So when you click on place mode right here, um, you can see how down at the bottom it says that find detail nature objects make your scene heavier and can slow down Lumion. So what that means is that means there's so much detail in this tree right here that if you just dump a bunch of these in your background, it's gonna slow down your rendering because you've got a lot of complex geometry in here and a lot of high resolution textures. And so what you do with these is you use them in the foreground of your image. So like for example, let's go ahead and delete out this chestnut tree for right now. So we'll delete that out. So like for example, if you've got a shot with a house that's right here, you wouldn't put a fine detail nature tree back here. Like there's no point, right? Because it's so far away from your camera that you can't see that detail. However, if you've got this set up, and maybe I'll do an example of this in a second. If you've got this set up where you're actually like doing a shot of a building and you wanna have the tree right here, or if you have a video where this is like swaying in the wind and this is in the foreground, then you're gonna want this tree to be right here. So um, so you're gonna wanna use a fine detail nature tree right here because it's gonna look way more realistic. And so another place you might use these is you might use these for like bushes and other things like that. So if I click on my plants and let's say that I had like the front side of a building or something like that and I wanted a couple of these plants to be in the front and your view is gonna be like this, it makes a lot of sense to use these fine detail nature models. However, if they're gonna be way out in the background like this, you don't necessarily want to do that. And so one other thing I wanted to do really quick was just take a look at these from a rendering standpoint and compare them. So I'm not gonna do anything special, I'm just gonna bring in, we'll go ahead and bring in another one of these regular sweet chestnut trees. So we'll just type in chestnut, we'll bring this sweet chestnut tree right here, and what I wanna do is I just want to render a side by side just looking at these. So all we're going to do is we're just going to set these two trees here and maybe we'll get a viewpoint like this and we'll just use a Lumion preset is all we'll do. So we'll go ahead and we'll click on this and I think the realistic preset is probably a good bet for what we want to do. And all I want to do is maybe we'll get a shot kind of right here with this tree in the foreground on the right and this other tree on the left and we'll just kind of use the sky here in order to take a look at this. We'll go ahead and zoom our, um, we'll go ahead and zoom in our focal length just to give us kind of an idea and maybe to get us a better look between the two, we'll do this looking down instead of looking up. So maybe something like this. So let's go ahead and let's run this rendering, or you know what, we can even click in here and just look at preview mode without running a rendering at all. So if I just click on preview mode in order to preview this, which is another feature that was added in Lumion 10, which I'm really liking, you can see how these leaves just look so much better than these leaves on the left-hand side over here. So, but if we go ahead and we run a rendering, of this particular photo. We'll go ahead and we run this just like this. You can see how with our final detailed image, there's just no comparison between the fine detail nature over here and the old trees over here. So if you're doing a close up of these trees, you can tell how this is significantly better looking than the older um, context trees. However, if you look in the background, you can see how the older standard trees look just fine, right? You can, so you don't necessarily need something to this level of detail in your background. And so as another example, if we go into our example files and we look at this new villa, which is our example model for Lumion 10, if we uh, use this as an example, but let's say that we wanted to come up here and we wanted to create a render of this house, and uh, we just wanted kind of a tree in the foreground. Well, in this situation, if your tree was gonna go in the foreground right here, you wouldn't use a regular nature model, you'd use a fine detail nature model. So let's say we had something Let's go back to page one. So let's say we had a tree like this blue gum tree right here. You would want to place this um, right here because it's a fine detail model and it's going to be in the center of your actual camera view. Where if you wanted to do the same thing in the background, you would go into your regular nature library. So anything that goes in the background like this, you would wanna place out here with just kind of a standard tree because it's not gonna be close up. So this is gonna give you this really great tree view in here in the foreground and then these fill in your background really nicely. 
So, and then we'll go ahead and we'll just click in here to preview this. You can see how when you preview this tree, the level of detail of these leaves and everything else really adds to your rendering. So just remember, find detail in the foreground and then a lower detail in the background. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know how you're feeling about the new fine detail nature objects inside of Lumion 10 or how you feel about the release in general. I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.